Hey everyone, this is Miss Larson, and I am just going to answer some of your questions that you had about the animals. Thank you, Miss Grable's class, for learning about them. I'm really excited that you got the chance to do that. So I had four questions, and the first one was from Max, and Max said, which one of your species do you think is closest to dinosaurs? Um, Max, I think the closest relative to dinosaurs is our Euromastix lizard named Spike. Um, he is also a reptile, just like dinosaurs would, were, and dinosaurs were scaly reptiles, and Spike is a scaly reptile too. His, uh, the outside of his body doesn't have hair, but it has scales that help protect his body and um, help him live. And also, interestingly, since he eats salad for food, we call him an herbivore. You might have heard that word before, but that just means he only eats plants. So he would have been more closely related to dinosaurs like a Brachiosaurus or a Stegosaurus, those ones that were plant eaters or herbivores. All right, next question. Layla said, um, do all the plants die? And Layla, almost all the plants from our classroom have stayed alive ever since I got them, which is really kind of cool. I usually water them every other day, which means I water them on Mondays and Wednesdays and Fridays at school. Um, the plants also get some nutrients from any sort of waste that gets left behind by my animals in the tanks. And only a few of our plants have died. The ones that died actually died because some of our plant eating animals ate them. So one time I put some plants in the hissing cockroach tank and they ate them. So we didn't get to, to keep those plants. But otherwise, most of the plants have stayed alive. Um, Amelia, you asked, how do snails move so slow? So Amelia, snails don't have legs like people do. Um, they actually move using this slimy muscle that comes out of the bottom of the shell and it's called a pseudopod. A pseudopod means fake foot. And it's a slimy part that comes out and you can kind of see that. Um, I think Miss Grable took a picture um, where you can see the snail pseudopod that's attached to the glass on the aquarium. And that's just kind of a muscular part of their body that helps them move around, but it's not legs, so they're not able to actually move very fast. Um, and then last, um, Mason said, why do ge geckos move so slow? Uh, Mason geckos can move quickly, but they're usually pretty slow during the daytime. Um, geckos are nocturnal, which is a word that means that they hunt and they are most active at nighttime. So they do run around at night and they can get pretty quick. Um, but during the day, most of the geckos are sleeping, which is why they don't actually move very much when the lights are on. They're kind of resting, um, just like you do at nighttime. Another interesting fact is that a lot of geckos like to sleep under the heat lamps in our tank um, to stay warm during the day. Geckos are reptiles and they are what we call cold-blooded. Um, so, you know, people are warm-blooded. We're able to keep our body temperatures nice and warm, um, but geckos and other lizards are not able to do that. They are cold-blooded, and so that means they can't stay warm without the heat that comes from either a lamp in our classroom or if they're out in nature, that comes from the sun. So, guys, good questions. Thank you so much for thinking about our animals and asking such wonderful questions. If you have other questions, please let Miss Graybill know. She can ask me and I can get back to you about them. Have a great day.